All right, so today we're driving out the AFT-09, uh, which is one of the new vehicles added with the Drone Age update. And uh, it's exactly what it looks like. It is a, a wheeled anti-tank missile carrier uh, fighting for China. And if I get some spawn points, I'm going to take out the SA-342L. It's the Chinese Gazelle helicopter, um, which is kind of interesting. But the AFT-09 here... Um, I've been having a lot of fun with this. It, it's kind of a unique vehicle. It's got a lot of the attributes that I, I really like with uh, a ground vehicle in War Thunder. It's very fast. It's very mobile. Uh, it's got some good missiles. And it's got thermals at BR 8.7. So, not bad. The only problem is, um, it can't scout. It has no armor whatsoever. And it has no other weapons aside from the missile launcher. So, you've got these four missiles, which aren't terrible. You know, they're, they're good missiles. Um, but, it's it. Like, that's all you got, is, is the four missiles. Um, you, you know, you can reload them a couple of times. You've got more than the four shots. Um, crud, that's gonna be wasted. Um, so you can, you can reload them and stuff, right? But... You don't have any machine guns. You don't have any kind of coaxial stuff. You got nothing else going on. Just the just the multiple missile launcher here. Oh, geez, I lost my tent. That's no good. And the missiles, um, completely manually guided. So you don't have um, you don't have any radar or anything like that. Not ideal for attacking like helicopters. However, they do have really good depression on this launcher. So that's something I'm going to see if I can take advantage of. Maybe if I'm a little sneaky up here on this hill. Alright, there's a guy. Yeah, see, I can't, I can't scout targets in this thing. Got him before he hid behind the rock. Alright. Let's see what's going on over there. That is dead. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't be, don't be shooting me. Come on, buddies, get him. Get that guy. I'm I'm reloading and it's really slow. Come on, China Kevin. Is he still alive? I need the help. No, somebody got him. Okay. All right. Well, let's take another quick look around. We've captured most of the strategic zones. Come on! Come on! Yes! Alright, now there's a guy... Oh! Oh! T-95E1. Alright, so there's there's a quick look at the AFT-09. I mean, you can get an idea of what it's all about. I, I love that thing. It suits my playstyle very well. The missiles are okay. Uh, but it has, like, no survivability whatsoever. So, the Gazelle here. Alright, this is... This is an interesting one. Um, all it's got are these four missiles. No no machine guns. I mean, you can take some rocket pods, but, you know, you want the missiles. No machine guns, no countermeasures, no thermals, no night vision, nothing. This is, this is very basic. It's yet another example of a civilian helicopter that they just strapped some weapons onto. And, uh, the story behind this, China had purchased a small number of these in the 1980s. Um... And ended up using them not in, like, frontline combat roles. They were evaluated and ended up being used for, like, dissimilar combat training and stuff like that. Um, and in the game, this is, uh, it's the bastard helicopter on the Chinese tech tree. Uh, what I mean is, it's off on its own, and unlocking it doesn't lead to anything else. Like, there's nothing below it in the tech tree. It's off on its own, researched from the entry-level helicopter. And it's a dead end. So, I, given how tedious and annoying it is, 
to grind out helicopters, I don't think we're going to see too many people using this thing. I really don't. I think this is is going to become quite a rare vehicle. Not because it's like hard to get or anything like that. I just don't think anyone's going to. So we're going to have some fun with it here today. Now, it's, it's small, it's fast, and it's agile. That's, that's really it. Like, that's the whole story with this. The missiles it gets entry level. Oh, come on, come on. All right, I see you, Huey. I see you. Oh, come on. Yes! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, sorry, buddy. That had to happen. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't shoot that at me. Oh, what is that? It's an F9F? Oh, man, he's going to eat my lunch. All right, I better hide. Yes, yes, F86. Get him. Get him. Because I am defenseless. I can't do anything against this guy. Yeah, that's it. That's all I can hope to do. What you just saw there, that is my only move against uh, against a fast mover. This helicopter's just got very low survivability. I mean, like I said, it's fast and light, but no machine guns, no countermeasures, no nothing. And these missiles, you know, these manual command missiles... Um, whoop, had a little bounce, no, no big deal, are not very well suited to use against aircraft. I'll, I'll leave it at that. All right. Whoop, 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 whoop. I had one. I just had one. Where did he go? There he is. Come on, get him. Get him. Yes. Oh, 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 that's a burnt. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh friendly fire. What? Oh. Thanks, buddy. All right, so we're back in the AFT-09. And, uh... As you saw in the first match, um, you know, this is this is pretty much a glass cannon. It doesn't take much to blow it up. Some uh, small arms fire, medium arms fire, uh, can often be enough to just waste this thing. But it suits my play style very well. It's got the, the fast, like, shoot and scoot kind of mobility. It's got thermals, it's got the guided missiles. You know, all I could really ask for is the ability to scout and some armor. But I'll have to live without. So, one of the things that I like most about this vehicle, and really, like, kind of the, the whole light vehicle meta, um, is that... Oh, let me see if I can get in there and take a shot on this guy if he's still alive. There we go. Um, is that it's highly mobile. You know, I can do stuff, assuming I don't get seen, I can do stuff like this really wide flank and get into a position to, like, flank the enemy team very early in a match. Now, it's high risk. This is, this is a play style that does not always work very well. And the reason it's high risk is that the majority of the time, uh, pull in this kind of shenanigans, you're out here on your own. You don't have any backup from the rest of your team. And in a light vehicle like this, if anyone sees you, you're pretty much dead. Oh. Okay. Is that... He doesn't even... Alright, I'm not going to be able to kill him, but... The 
A109, that is the medium tier Italian helicopter. I think that has retractable landing gear, and that guy didn't have his gear on. So I'm going to go back and check on that later, because I'm curious. Nothing... I shouldn't say that, but... Yeah, it is like... It's amusing, and it is not something that I hold in high regard. Um, if you're flying out in a helicopter and in a, like that has retractable landing gear, and you don't even bother to pull the gear up. Yeah, he got away. Am I gonna... Is he gonna come out to play? I can't tell. But I'm going to get smacked from... Yep. <laughs> I love this thing. I really, really enjoy this high mobility kind of gameplay style. Uh, I guess I'm going to go for A. Just because it looks undefended and nobody has come out to stop me. I'm sure I'm going to get wasted as soon as I start going up that hill, though. Because all those guys back coming out of their spawn are going to have a good view on me. And, you know, even, even at long range, one hit is absolutely enough to take this thing out with a main gun shot from a tank. Because, as I mentioned, no armor at all. Not even anything that pretends to be armor. Now, there was a guy over here. I took a shot at him before, but he got behind those rocks, and I don't know what happened to him. So, I'll do that as some distraction. We'll take a look. I don't want to get out of the cap zone. Oh, artillery fire! That is a serious threat. Nothing over there to shoot at. This would normally be a relatively good spot. Oh, hey, buddy. This would normally... Oh, oh, oh. Had someone coming in behind. Yes. Through the trees. How you like me now? Oh, boy. Oh, 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 no, no. Oh, oh. Got me on the reload. All right. That was a good run, though. Let's go back out in the gazelle. And see what we can get. And, of course, you know, this gazelle is defenseless, so there's a good chance I'm just going to get swatted out of the air. And if that's what happens, you're still going to see it. But, um, as we were saying before, so I don't, I don't think we're going to see this particular version of the gazelle get used a whole lot. Just because of, like, where it is in the tech tree and everything. You know, there's there's a couple of helicopters, like um, I think the French Alouette 2, um, that are dead ends in the research tree. And you never see them actually used out in matches. Because it's so tedious to unlock helicopters. People don't want to spend the time and the points researching something that doesn't lead to anything else. But... I think this helicopter is really fun. One of the things that um, appeals to me about some of these, like, medium to low tier helicopters, it takes, like, no spawn points to get into this thing. You know, you can, you can get into this with the missiles with one kill. No problem. Is there anything alive down there? I'm going to take a shot. Just in case. Maybe we get lucky and hit something through the smoke. Oh, we did! How about that? I'm gonna get wasted while I'm sitting here in a hover. <laughs> oh, hello. Yeah, I'm I'm not in a good spot against a helicopter like that. 
Because I don't have any guns, and he can... He can dance on me if he wants to. Yeah, because he has machine guns and I don't. Uh, uh, oh. All right. Well, there you have it. There's the uh, the AFT-09 and the SA-342 Gazelle. Um, as a little bonus, since I have the points, I guess we're going to fly out in the UAV just to cap off this match. This is actually my first time taking the Chinese UAV out, so you get a little bit of a treat. All right. Nice. Oh. There we go. All right, let's look for something to shoot at. My goodness, the zoom on this. To make sure the laser stays on target. Come on, get him. Come on. Yes. Oh, a hit, but no kill? All right. I guess we'll go for the direct kill. That was a mistake. That that dive was a mistake. I'm going to break up. Okay. All right. Ooh. That was a little scary. But let's um Let's see what we got down there. Nice. All right, I think that's the same guy we uh, we hit before. So it took two shots. But all right, just to round out this episode, I'm going to try and land on the uh, helicopter runway over here. There's been... There was a lot of talk in the comments on my video um, with my first impression of the drones uh, saying that we should be able to land them on the helicopter runways. So I'm going to give that a shot. I actually have not flown the drones too much uh, since the update. So this will uh, this will be an adventure. This will be my first time trying to land one of these drones on one of the helicopter airfields. And it's my first time flying the Chinese drone. So this will be a new experience for me. And you guys get to see it. I am thinking that that runway looks like it's a little short. So, I'm going to try and... Yeah, see, I'm worried about clipping that tree on the right with my wingtip. I'm going to try and come in, like, really slow. Enemy forces have captured a zone. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I have enough, enough runway. Can I peel out? No crud. Uh, overshot the runway. Is it going to kill me, or is it going to count that as, like, reloading? Alright, counts it as a landing. I guess maybe I'll try to... I'll try to wheel back over onto the... Oh, tree, 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 tree! Oh, that that was that was bad. All right, so I guess I'm stuck doing little circles around this tree. And I'm like just barely not on the airstrip. Oh, man, this is embarrassing. But it's educational, I guess. You get to see me struggle around, struggle around like a moron. Come on. I really just want to get, like, 20 meters over to the left so I can reload. Okay. Uh, 
Now these trees are going to do the same thing. Ugh. All right, well, this was an abject failure. Um, I guess theoretically it's possible if you just do a better job at the landing than I did here. Um, but so there you have the AFT-09 and the SA-342 Gazelle and my first experience flying the Chinese UAV. As always, thanks for watching.